I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We need a fingerprint match. Using the fingertron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book. We need a blood match. Using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <sighs> Impressive. It's a revolving door. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Really? That's terrible. How serious are the reports? Should I be worried? Uh, given that there's no such thing as ghosts, you'll be fine. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plush bear inside out and you get a plush pillow. Kids will... Words don't do it justice. I have no idea what they're doing. It looks better from this side. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they... Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. I don't know why you'd want a room when Chuck Abu always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah, I guess so. How else may I be Abu of service? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. 
Dabu wabu wabu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, Abu. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. This must be making that terrible noise. Hey, dude! What's your damage? Yo, dude. Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad! You can't tell me what to do! Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Hey, dude! What's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front! Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so sure. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Your shoes are not the latest and greatest. What's your damage? Of course! They're totally awesome! I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I've got a groovy friend who... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who... was on MTV and... Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. Hey dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You'd do that for me? Oh, sick! Who, what do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. 
Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! You're ace. Later, dude! The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. I'd better not change into my disguise while he's near. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. The doors are closed. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, abu, for the booking? Emilio Estevez. Of course, Mr. Estevez. We have a lovely suite abu for you on the seventh floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology abu that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. How else may I be abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Estevez. Whoa, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu.